This is the Seiko Presage cocktail time, model SRPJ13, also called the Aviation Time, after the Aviation cocktail. It's beautiful blue dial. Oh, my hunt for a blue dial watch is over. I have it on this Stingray strap. With a deploying buckle. This thing is so beautiful. I was on the fence because I have the, the brown version, uh, the SRPJ17, which I showed in a previous video. And um, I was on the hunt for a blue dial dress watch. And um, I started off with the uh, SNXS 77, but that was kind of small. It had the 7S26 movement in it. And, um, you know, I didn't like the way the lugs sat on the watch. You see how these lugs, it's, it's more of a vintage antique watch style, the way they come off of the case. And um, they point downward toward the wrist for a more natural flow. To the wrist and that SNXS 77 didn't do that um, but the blue on that dial was awesome it had loom it had a day day function it wasn't really a dress watch but you could pull it off as one but um, then I moved in on to the uh, SRPH 87 I think it was that one had the 4R35 movement with a day complication. The blue dial on that was kind of flat and the watch was big. It was, I believe it was 41 millimeters. This hits the sweet spot for me with my seven inch wrist at uh, 39 and a half millimeters. Had the same thickness though, about 11.8. But still, it, it's amazing with watches how a millimeter or two can make a huge difference. In the way it wears. I like those silver indices. Seiko says that uh, the ones at the 12, 6, and 9 are to emulate uh, the cocktail glass. I guess the flute stem or whatever. But um, it's just beautiful. And that second hand, it's like a needle with that diamond eye on it. And those hands. Dolphin style hands, polished on one side and flat on the other side. And so no matter what position you look at it, the uh, hands are visible. Has that box Harlex crystal. Gives it a little bit of that distortion at an angle, reminiscent of vintage watches. It came with the uh, plastic crystal. This thing is beautiful. It's got that Fumé dial effect, but still gives it that sunburst like the previous cocktail times. And so after the SRPH, I went to the SRPB41. That one was nice. It was 41 millimeters, still big. It had the sun ray effect stamped into the dial and that mini track. I don't know why Seiko chose to put that mini track on that watch, but they got it right with this one. So when I saw this one, I actually bought one for my father-in-law first. And when I was sizing the bracelet for him and handling the watch, <laughs> which became fundling the watch in this, in effect. I uh, fell in love with it. I didn't want to have two of the same watches, but hey, you know, as I said in in a previous video, I also have the brown version, the Irish coffee. So they're different enough in the colorways that um, I can have two. 
So this watch originally came on the, this bracelet, which is a really nice bracelet. But when I buy my watches, I um, immediately think about how I'm gonna rock it, which bracelet I, I'm looking at, so, or which strap. And I had uh, a Navy alligator strap that I took off of the SRPB41 to go on this. I still have it from Viner Creations. But um, when I saw this Stingray, I was like, I have to have that. So, there you go. Seiko did an awesome job with this watch. I have zero complaints. Any people out there complaining about Seiko and their watches don't have to buy it. Look elsewhere. But uh, I'm not a spokesperson for Seiko or anything. I just love their watches. You, you get so much bang for your buck. And their dolls. Wow. So, there it is. Time for him to go back home. Boom. Thanks for watching.